Hello everyone, it's me Arijit back with a new video and it's going to be a very quick video on how you can install an on-screen keyboard in Raspberry Pi. Now as you all know in the latest uh, OS of Raspberry Pi, we don't have any more a default keyboard and with the new Bookworm OS, it's not that much simple to install keyboard and set up as previously it was. So in this video, I'll show you how you can just uh, within one or two minutes, you can install an on-screen keyboard. So if you are using a maybe touchscreen with your Raspberry Pi or something like that, you can simply use that keyboard with your Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. So guys, before start, please make sure that you are using the latest OS of Raspberry Pi. So in my case, I'm using the latest one, which is Bookom. And now to install the keyboard, we need to connect with our Raspberry Pi. So in my case, I have connected my Raspberry Pi through VNC Viewer, but you can also connect through SSH or maybe your uh, you can directly connect a HDMI cable. Okay. So now I'm going to open the terminal and here we simply need to write sudo apt install uh, wvkbd. Okay. Click enter and within very few seconds the installation will be done. In my case, I already have installed it, uh, but there is no dependency, so you can easily install it. Once you install it to launch the keyboard, you need to write wvkbd mob mob intl. Click enter. So now, as you can see here, you can see the keyboard. Okay, and now also if I if you can see it, I can simply so I can simply write using this keyboard in this way. Okay, and also if you're using a touchscreen, you can directly uh, write uh, use the keyboard in a touchscreen also. Okay, and also from here you can also change like you can get numbers, symbols, and everything. Okay, it's that simple. Now you can also change the configuration, the layout. Like if you want to start in auto start, everything you can do. Uh, but that things I'm not going to cover in this video because it's a very quick and very small video, so I'm not going to cover all the configuration things. But you can definitely search the internet and you easily get it. But in this video, added thing I'll show you that how you can launch this keyboard. So basically, uh, obviously the key, uh, the command we need to use is wvkbd and mob intl. Uh, but let's say you are uh, accessing your Raspberry Pi from a touch screen setup. In that case, how you are going to launch the keyboard. Okay, so in that case here, we can simply create a, a shell script. So I'll go to my desktop and there I'm going to create a shell script, nano uh, keyboard uh, start, just sorry, keyboard start dot sh and uh, I'll press enter. Now here we're going to write the code. So here we have to write the same command, which is uh, wvkbd uh, mob intl. And next we are going to click on control X, Y and enter. Now we have saved the keyboard start.sh script. Now we have to make the script executable for that we have to write chmod plus X and then keyboard start.sh now our script is executable now we can either run it from dot slash and the name of the sh or we can simply double click it and we can execute it but if you are using a touch screen double clicking maybe can be a little bit like uh, hectic so in that case if you want to just single click on this uh, on this uh, icon and uh, you want your uh, the script gonna execute in that case what you really need to do is you need to go to your file manager from there you go to edit, you go from, from edit, you go to preferences and there, the very first option here will have is this open files with single click. Make sure you checked it and you just close it. And then if you just a single click this icon, you are going to get this option that if you want to execute this command or you want to execute this in terminal. So if you just click on execute in terminal, you are going to get the keyboard and also a terminal window will open. You can minimize it. Uh, sorry, you can minimize it and when there is no need of the keyboard, uh, keyboard you can simply again open this uh, terminal, you can close it and your keyboard will also going to be turned off. Okay. And now uh, if you double click on it and then you need to, you just click on execute, then you will get the keyboard but there is, there will be no terminal window open. How you can close the keyboard is very simple. Uh, again, you have to open a terminal and then you need to write sudo pickle and wvkbd uh, mob intl okay and then you can kill it in this way now here also we can create another shell script to actually turn this keyboard off so nano uh, keyboard uh, off dot sh and you can just write here sudo pickle and uh, wvkbd mob intl 
and you can simply save it control x y enter now we need to make it executable for that i'm going to write ch mod plus x keyboard off dot sh and now we also have made it executable now we can close it now we can click on the start execute now we have the keyboard now we can click on the off execute in this way you can turn off the keyboard now we'll show you in touch screen how it actually looks when you use it so as you can see here i have my home assistant kiosk where i'm running a raspberry pi on a touch screen so here uh, as you can see i have these two files keyboard sh and keyboard off sh i can just click on keyboard sh i can execute it and here i have my complete keyboard now i can just open any terminal i can write whatever i can i want and then when i think i don't need the keyboard anymore i can just click on it i can execute and my keyboard is gone this is how i can simply use the keyboard in any raspberry pi in any with any touch screen so this is how overall this thing is going to work so if you have any query let me know in the comment section and i hope you have liked this video in that case please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the very next video